Hello MacWarriors, how is it going? Welcome to another episode of MacWarrior 5 Mercenaries. Guys, uh, we have some new contracts to do and I would say we're gonna do it. However, we are not doing it right now. I mean, the contracts here, the yellow ones, we have a raid there and then there's a raid there, which means that uh, we get some nice stuff out of it when we do them. However, at the same time, there's a war zone here and I want to start out with that. So let's go ahead, let's take the contract and have a good time on the battlefield. Especially since we have the Night Star available and I want to check that thing out. So let's take this oh, difficulty 88 war zone. We can take 400 tons into this and I would say we're gonna go with all the salvage rights in the world because I want to upgrade my weapons. I want to be maxed out when I finish this campaign here. So let's see. Uh, I'll be taking the Night Star. Then we have of course our King Crab. Then we have an Atlas and then we have another Atlas. No, it's damaged, so am I gonna take this? I guess not. I think what I want is a nice SRM brawler. However, I think order matters, so we're gonna put the Stalker over here. So that the King Crab is more a backliner with the large laser, the LRM and the AC-10s. So I think, again, the ordering feels off that it matters. The first slot is gonna be the one on your front in terms of team cohesion. The last slot is the one in the back in terms of team cohesion. So, order them. It's important, I think. I need to make uh, more, or I need to do more research on it and gather more data so that I can actually uh, confirm or actually deny it. That's the cool thing about science. If you can deny something, if you can falsify something, it's a success. It's pretty good. Anyway, dropping in, we're gonna get some money here. We're gonna get also, again, some, hopefully, some better weapon systems. Uh, my weapon systems that I have in my max are not bad right now, don't get me wrong. We have a pretty high tier rating, I think round about tier 3 on every single weapon in all of our mechs, but that's not tier 5, so I wonder if you can actually salvage that. And I do wonder, I do wonder if you uh, could buy better equipment in the stores depending on your mercenary rating or the time. It might be the reputation rating here, yeah, we are at 14 right now, so I think we can actually do better. Let's get some more rep. And then we're gonna continue like with the story. With Ooh, it's dark. Oh, there it goes! I see a cicada already. And I hit the cicada already. Uh, shall we go for a night vision? I think we should. Oopsie. Sorry. That was not that good. Uh, we have LRMs. No, we don't. Ah, no, not on this one. Yup, that's a hit. No, it's not a hit. Ah, I hit... <gasps> oh, two things. I think I hit my cicada. Uh oh, the friendly fire instantly. Man, they weren't uh, designated as friends or foe. All right, target designation is really a thing that we need. Sorry, wasn't my intention. Maybe it was. I don't know. No, it wasn't. I didn't want to hit my friend. I wanted to hit them, but not my friend, obviously. All right, let's be a bit careful with where we aim, actually. Alright, 4 out of 5 are down, means, ah, one more light mag, and it's a fire starter. Man, this is, by the way, this is the first time I'm, I've been playing for like, or since a week? So I need to get into this again. <laughs> Let's see, where's the freaking fire starter? Show yourself. Yep, that's an arm gun. Let me see if I can hit your head. Or whatever that was, it was centered also. It's fine though, a kill is a kill. Now, give me more enemies. Hello. Oh wait, yeah, we have to go in there. We have to trigger the event actually before uh, the reinforcements will drop. Here they come. It feels that they are close. Uh, so there's the thing. The thing is a tank. And we have the max here on the left side. Alright. Let's go. Good job, guys. Good job. Alright, I'm trying to, to headshot a bit. I need to practice my aim. Okay, that's gonna be just a center to the destruction, fine. Let's just get them off the battlefield, let's not fiddle around with them too much. Ah, oh, in the very last second he dove down into cover. I should also try to stay in motion somewhat. That was, uh, I think too high. And now... Again, too high. Ah, oh, come on, I need to get the fuel for this. Let's just kill this uh, thing here, and then we're gonna... Keep going from there. Destroyed. Enemy destroyed. 
Oh, they still have tanks around. I don't like this, but I also don't like that they are bringing mechs right away. That quick draw is gonna be it, right? Alright, let's see. I don't know what I hit, but I hit something. I mean, we might as well, right? Um, you know what? We can like, kill the Jenner first. We're gonna kill the Jenner first because they, they pack a punch, but they are very lightly armored. Come on, show yourself. Here he comes. Yep, nice center torso. Nice center torso hit, that is. Alright, he's down. Cool. So, oh, we actually hit him in the head earlier. That's cool as hell. This Gauss dude is so good. I love it. Uh, wait a second. Maybe this? No, it hits side torso. I mean, while we are waiting for the recharge, we can actually shoot the other guys here. Again, center torso. Well, it doesn't matter so much. Alright, so far so good. Where's the dropship? I hear dropship. I also see that. Good. Oh, you're shooting over there. Alright, let's go, guys. Let's make a breach here. Problem is that we cannot shoot them at long range unless they are doing this. Alright, let's go for the CK that first. Try to hit the other leg. Didn't connect though. Ooh, and they bring a catapult? And the rifleman? Alright, let's go for the rifleman first. You cannot move around when I'm trying to hit you. Thank you very much. Hey, we got the headshot! I think that was the first one ever here. Like the first headshot kill. Let's kill the leg or destroy the leg there. Target destroyed, um, this guy as well, good. This night vision is really crippling my sight here. Uh, making a breach here so that I can actually go in with the Gauss. Come on! Come on, show yourself! Not bad, not bad at all. I mean, we still have a lot of stuff to do here. Alright. So there they are. Turn around, guys. Ooh, it's Cyclops, huh? It was not a headshot. I wonder where the cockpit is, actually. I mean, where the cockpit hitbox is. Ow. I know where my cockpit hitbox is, definitely. Holy cow. Right. Flyer down. Well, what about the Cyclops, guys? That definitely hit the head. And we got him. <laughs> okay. Alright. So catapult is... And there? Yeah, we hit the head. We hit the cockpit, actually. Ooh, Lovell is getting a lot of damage here. We should probably be a bit faster with this. Mm, center torso, it was. You know what? I go a bit aggressive. And there. Whatever. Let's kill. Mission complete. So, uh, Lovell, how is your. That's not your urban mech. Hmm. Stalker speed up, guys. I think we're gonna make our way to the evac zone and then um, kill the next lance that is coming down while we are moving. And then we're gonna get out of here. <laughs> alright. Woo, 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 woo. Um, alright. Ow. It's actually good that they're going for me. Would you please stand still when I'm shooting you? Thank you. Hmm. They don't like me. So, you know what? We're going for the kills here. This is just destruction. Alright, let's go. Another dragon. Side torso, not the head. This way when you're moving is quite massive. Hey dude. That was a headshot. Alright, remove that. Side torso again. What about this? Woohoo! No. It's a reactor breach, alright. That's good though, because that means that they have destroyed the assassin already. <laughs> Guys, come on. Let's run. We are getting 200,000 Siebels out of that, and Lovell is getting more and more damage. And I think. He lost his eye torso. No! Alright. Alright, Lovell. Navigate here, please, without using your weapons. Thank you. 
I mean, we have a critical SRM and a bit of critical structure and so on. But other than that, it's fine. Okay. I gave my people the order to move out. And now I'm gonna give them some support fire from here. Because Cicadas actually give a good chunk of money. And I wanna help them. That was not a kill. Wow. I'm baffled by that. Hey, we got him though. Come on, guys. Keep going. I'm gonna save your backs. I got your backs. 270,000 Thunderbolts. Ah, the side torso is mm -hmm, probably what I'm hitting all the time here. Cool. Let's keep going. What about your stalker, Lovell? Uh, we should really go. Come on, run, 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 run. There's also an assault. Now it's a heavy mag that's coming in. Okay, let's go for the cicada. Go for me! I'm your enemy! Ammo low. I'm gonna I'm gonna shoot the Thunderbolt still. I tried to hit the head by the way, again! But Thunderbolts have very small cockpits. I can't hit anything. Oh, I'm happy that we got one at the very least. So crippling him. That was a headshot, finally. Uh, you know what, we're gonna get out of here. That's 300, almost 400 additional, 400,000 additional sea builds. But okay, let's run. I think it was worth staying a little longer. And now we go home with a stalker. That is still in... It is certainly a condition. <laughs> I don't know what I should call it, but it is a condition. Not the best one, though. Absolutely. Cool. Hey, let's go. And we are almost getting to reputation 15. Oh, look at that. All the salvage in the world. I think we'll... Yeah, we'll be taking a rifleman here from 19 salvage. A bit more. And we could have gotten the Cyclops for 9 million. Uh, but what I want more is, as I was saying, more and better weapon systems for, mm -hmm, example, those medium lasers. I kind of want all of them. I mean, we could get 4.6 million, the dragon, for 16. Yeah, you know what, I'll do that. I'll do that, absolutely. Kentaro's, hmm, the Kentaro is a nice mech to have. But, I'm again, I'm looking for better stuff. Uh, probably no double heat sinks on the table. Nope, doesn't look like it. Which means that we can actually go all in on the lasers. Let's take all of them. And then we are good. Like all of the tier 4 lasers. So I don't have to feel bad if I put them into my mechs if I have a surplus of them. Cool. Now that was good. That was really good. What we need to do now is we have 20 millions. I mean, what we need to do is uh, we go to the star map. We need to repair now. Let's go to Stanzach. We travel 20 days. Repairing there, then we're gonna be playing our raids, and, um, period. We're gonna be playing our raids and get some nice, nice extra salvage. Or let's say extra reward. Because I think the, the mission that we are playing right now has like four, five question marks in the rewards there. Alright, we see a Highlander. That's a Gauss Highlander. Okay. Alright. Hmm. I mean, it's a good one, but I don't need... Do I want it? Do I... Actually, I think I like the Highlander more than the Stalker right now. Why not a Highlander? We could also afford this King Crab. Ooh, I have an idea. Oh, yeah. So, this is how we do it. <sighs> sorry. <laughs> sorry, Stalker. Oh, sorry, Marauder. We can just ditch the Marauder at this point. Will we ever use... No, we are not using Marauders anymore. I love the Marauder, don't get me wrong, this is a very beautiful mech, but I think we just can't afford going all in on this, in terms of tonnage now. So, selling the Marauder, obviously, uh, go back, sell the Dragon, sell the Victor, and then we're gonna amp up our Assault mech game. Oh yeah. So, Dragon 1C, sell that. I wonder how Dragons work. I usually don't like them, because the amount of weapon systems that you can put in them is not that great. But I think in the mid or early game, it's quite okay. So, sell this for a pretty good price. And... Also the Black Knight. I think also the Black Knight. 
Although sometimes we need to drop a little lower on tonnage. I think I drop a stock. No, the stock is really good. But it's slow as hell. The stalker here, the LRM stalker. Ah, man, this is tough. It's a tough decision here, really. It's a real tough decision. I'll drop the Black Knight. I'll drop the Black Knight. I wasn't happy with it anyway, so let's just sell it. I mean, we could also keep it for reasons, but I don't need to. So, now, we're gonna go to the market, buy the Highlander, obviously. Hello. And we also buy the King Crab, because it's a freaking King Crab. And that King Crab brings the ability to run two Gauss Rifles. So, eventually, I want to see how a full long-range team can operate. No short-range weapons or long-range. We try to destroy everybody at super long-range and kill them before they can even reach us. That's the plan. So, I have a, a brawly, bursty Atlas Annihilator squad for defense and warzone missions. And we got the King Crab, Highlander, Nightstar uh, squad for the, the raids and um, like the assassination missions and so on. I hope it works. So, first of all, let's edit the loadout here. Uh, I mean, this is a pretty good thing to have. Um, we don't need the jump jets. They are just too heavy. And they are not doing anything for us. What we need is maximum armor. I mean, that's for sure. And then we drop it down to like 22 in the back and more center torso on the front. That's fine. We drop down the legs here. To 70, 69. Uh, let's keep it at 70. And drop a bit of head armor. Alright, this is a very weird number. Alright, we will be going in under tonnage. Alright. Anyway, uh, put the Gauss ammo in the legs because I don't want to lose. No, never mind. It doesn't explode, so let's keep it here. And I want to put some LRMs on this thing. As I was saying, this is made for long range engagements. So let's put maybe two LRM 10 stream. Drop that, take three tons of ammo. Let's say... Well, we have five bins of Gauss ammo. Six now. I think this might be okay. Uh, anyway, we put a, a ton of LRM ammo in the legs. And the rest is just weapons and heat management now. So, um, since we can go higher on the LRM, um, because we have a lot of weight left over, I think what we do is... Like a 15? See, the thing about the 15 is that we have no problems with heat management whatsoever so, so far. Um, I'm keeping my double heat sinks for another build. What we can do is this here, easily. Just slapping a lot of single heat sinks on it. Which means that we can actually amp the tonnage of LRM ammo up by one. And I put a 20 in there. Easily. Easily. So, where's my 20? The best 20 that I have is a tier 4. Sure, let's go ahead and do it. Alright, that's 30 missiles and the Gauss Rifle. And I think the heat management is fine. It should be, honestly, because the Gauss doesn't really generate heat. It seems like a good mech to me. Cool. Uh, also put one heat sink in the head. Put them in the... Ahem, that's a jump jet slot. Uh, put them in the center for better protection. Cool, so 89.98 out of 90, that's a Highlander for us. We have a Gauss Rifle and two medium lasers as well as 30 missiles. Seems good to me, honestly. And then we have the King Crab. Let's go ahead and edit the King Crab a bit. Drop those guys. Uh, drop the 15. LRM ammo can go for the moment. The AC-20 ammo can also go. I think I'll also keep the large laser. Now, what we do is... Um, yeah, you know what? I'll put the ER large on this. And we will start with, obviously, the Gauss Rifles yet again. Let's see what we can do with this. Where are my Gausses? I think I have two more. Exactly. Problem is that they are on the arms and you know what happens when... <clears throat> you give AI control over your mechs that have arm-mounted weapons, right? It could be a disaster, honestly. We don't need all of those heat sinks here, by the way. The AR large laser will be the only weapon that generates heat for the moment, so... Yeah, it's fine. What we need is, um... Yeah, five tons of ammo. That's the maximum amount of ammo that we have still. And I'll put that in the head. Um, two double heat sinks in the engine because I want more. I also want... I want a missile weapon, honestly. I want another missile weapon. And if it's only an LRM-10 or 15... Yeah, it's gonna be a 10, I guess. Maybe that's not even possible. Uh, kind of. Kind of. The good thing about the King Crab is that it has massive leg armor. And we can drop it down to 70 easily. Which gives us additional tonnage to work with. And then we drop the head ammo. At uh, the head armor a bit. 
And a bit of the center torso. <clears throat> Just a bit. Okay, so that's um, 98.5, which gives us the opportunity, the ability to drop one point of, one and a half points of LRM ammo, and all of a sudden we have an ER large laser, an LRM 10, as well as a bit of ammo and two Gauss rifles. This King Crab should be able to perform quite well, if you ask me here. Instead of the large laser, we could also think about a PPC. Oh. I think an AI would be more prof proficient with a PPC than a large laser. But maybe maybe it's fine like it is right now. Alright. I want to check out my long range squad, guys. Long range squad assemble. So we have the LRM Stalker, we have the Night Star, we have the King Crab, we have the King Crab and the Highlander. Yeah, we could also build the other King Crab also with the uh, with Gauss rifles, but I think it's gonna be fine. So let's take a look at our other battle mechs that need repair. Almost forgot that. All right, repair. And oh, we need to we need to refit a little on the Stalker there. Hmm, I should do it now. I should really do it now. Oh, I'm also looking forward to my Annihilator again. So work order: Stalker, Stalker, Stalker. Stop the work here because you need. Repair. Ooh, you lost two doubles in this. That's not so great, man. Alright. Put them back in. And what was the other thing? Singles? I think it was that, right? Okay. Start the work. And we're gonna have a good time with that. So, cool thing is that we are here on this planet and we also have the opportunity to pick up new pilots, which we don't because they're not good. And is there anything close by that might be interesting to pick up? Yes, there is. There is a hero mech. Hero mechs could be slave mirrors, and I'm looking for a slave mirror. That's the Cyclops Hero, having two large ballistic hard points on the torsos. And that thing is a Gauss monster. I want that thing. It's basically as potent as the Nightstar is. And um, it's a battle master. Uh, no, I'm not taking this one. I think I don't. It's interesting because it has two large energy as well as a bunch of medium energy and then the small, the small missile hard points are the problem. Nothing here. No. No Wolfhounds actually. Any weapon system that I want. No, nothing. By the way, if you're wondering why I didn't put my new weapons in the um, in the mechs, um, I want to dive into the next game here, right now. And maybe on another day, we have enough time to actually do a little bit of a bigger refit and optimize our battle max in a way where everybody has the best weapon available. And yeah, we're gonna go in with that. But not right now, because I wanna keep playing, guys. We spent far too much time uh, repairing and rebuilding our lances here. But I think ultimately it's gonna be very, very worth. So that's the raid. Um, whew, we have like no money available. Let's go ahead and cover our repair expenses. 500,000? 700? Yeah, and then a bit of that. Uh, you know what? Let's go with 16 salvage. Okay. So, I want the Night Star. I want Mr. Krabs. Where's Mr. Krabs? He's not there yet. That's bad. So, I guess we wait a little longer. We can select them. Um, then we have the Highlander, and then we have either the other King Crab, or we'll take the LRM Stalker, which is also, I think, a nice idea. Alright. Yeah, this looks like a plan, guys. What we need is, uh, we have to wait here until the King Crab is refit, and now we go in. Everybody healthy again? Everybody ready? Seems good. Let's go. And yeah, the guys in color, obviously. Oh, I'm looking forward to this. I want to see how this works. Just going in very, very carefully. Destroying enemies at range before they can actually reach us. That's the battle plan. Warning. Hangar doors opening. Stand clear. We have five Gauss rifles Reactor here. Online. Yeah, now that I think about it, Sensors it's... Sensors online. Good. Weapons online. All systems nominal. Here we go. We could probably also afford a PPC mech. To do that... Inter-system advocacy has to intercept the bandit's comm systems. Okay. We'll create a distraction by taking down their relays. And, while the bandits are disorganized, we can analyze their communications. 
I think at some, at, at some point I'm gonna phase out the Stalker as well, because that thing doesn't really go well with our team cohesion. It is very slow. And for that reason, I'm not entirely sure if I wanna keep it. That's a tank, right? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Target eliminated, that's what I wanna hear, like, all the time. Is that a Demolisher? It is. Come on. Wow, not dead. Woo, those demolishers can take a beating. But yeah, this is actually the battle plan here. We're just gonna stay here, and we shoot every tank that we can at long range. Like, instantly. Before they can even hurt us. That's good, that's really cool. I like this. Um, more enemies. Oopsie. Good. Did I get destroyed? Oh, this feels good, honestly. It's a tank in the back. More tanks in the back. Missed that, though. Tank was tagged. Oh, that's what I want to hear. Target destroyed and a lot. This is working out, guys. If you ever go on a raid, do it like this. It's so good. It is so good. Question is, when will reinforcements arrive? Are there reinforcements that will arrive at some point? So good, I love it. I mean, there are some flyers coming down. Like here, you can see them. I might, I might be able to shoot them. I am able to shoot them. Out of the sky. Uh, like... This? No. No. Come on, guys. Attack! Got him! Oh, more enemies! So much for our height advantage here. But it doesn't matter, because we have an answer to every single one of them. Love it. I love it. Alright, guys. Keep going. Keep going. This is cool. This is cool as hell here. Yeah, yeah, you don't need to tag anything that's dead. Got him. I mean, they're just swarming us with a lot of stuff here. What? Check it down. Oh, you're already doing it. Very good. Uh, at this point, we have some problems. Uh, that's an Atlas, by the way. Go for this guy first. Yeah, this is what I mean. Oh, that's, that's cheating, guys. Um, we might have a problem. We might have a problem. Did you get the Rifleman? You didn't get the Rifleman yet. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. What? Alright. Get that guy. Ah, uh, No! Doesn't work. Alright. We are getting crashed. As soon as the enemies were dropping with what we see here, it was over. Our plan was completely collapsing. And he's, he's down. Can we please get this Atlas out of the way? I'm gonna run. Holy macaroni, what is that? Go away! <laughs> Run. Oh my god, there is a partisan as well. Wow. Mm hmm. Okay. I get it. You don't like me. You just you're just going in with everything you have, and then there's an SRM carrier and everything. <laughs> wow. Yeah. I have he here's the thing. I have the feeling that while my people have long-range weapons, they were engaging the objective already, which then in return triggered the drop of the lands that we just see, plus everything else that was still around. Come on, I just die already. Thank you. Oh, uh, you are dead. My legs are open. <laughs> Give him hell. Yeah, this is just crazy. Correct. No, it's not yet. Wow. Got him. Finally. Finally. I mean, hmm. We're mildly on, on under. Hmm. Under armor. All right. That was crazy as hell. Like seriously. Crazy as hell. Ah, I know what happened. Two bases got their reinforcements triggered. Two of them at the same time that we're in the canyon here. 
Alright, a little bit of point and click adventure here. <laughs> and we keep going. Sound of L, uh, wait, wait, wait. You're on the King Crab, right? Oh, you lost the Gauss Wipe. This is what I mean. Ah, uh, feels bad, man. Feels bad. What do you got? You still got all of your stuff. Ah, uh, maybe mixed builds like having. Uh, okay, hello. You're not dead. Maybe you are now. Good. So, what I wanted to say is that maybe mixed loadouts like having um, Gauss Rifles and LRMs, but also an SRM or two would also help. I don't know. Because what we just saw here was a complete mess and we couldn't properly defend ourselves. Not quite. I mean, this Victor is gonna die. Like big time. We got him. Before he could reach us. I mean, that's good. We gotta keep going, though. Is there another... Yeah, this is the base that we're looking at right now. Right? I wonder if there's another lance coming down. Oh, man. No, it's not the base that we're looking at. It's just an outpost. Oh, wait, no, it is. And I think this might be our target. No? It's a warehouse. Maybe? I mean, we still have enough ammo, so that's not gonna be a big deal. Oh, and we still have another Cyclops. Boom. Get that. And we pull back. And hopefully hit the head. Or whatever it is. Okay, we go for center. I just wanna live through this. Completely. Got that. Got that. No, we didn't! Oh, oh. Kill him! Lost the leg! We lost the leg! That's unfortunate. But uh, it's not a big deal. Because we're still alive and that it was matter. What matters, even. Oh, man! No, we didn't lose the leg. Ah, it just looked like it. Against the, the orange... The orange background. Okay. Good. So, last thing we do. <laughs> Holy macaroni. Last thing we do is we destroy the stupid warehouse there. Uh, why? No. Not allowed. Go away. No, 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 no. Everybody's here. Good. So, you say good work, I say get out of here. <laughs> so much for getting minimal damage when destroying everybody at long range, right? Uh, you guys, you're gonna come with me. I don't wanna do anything here anymore. We're gonna get out of this mess. Instantly. So at the very least, we didn't lose anything, so it seems we might have lost something that was stored in the leg. Some criticals on my Gauss ammo, maybe? I don't know. Took one down, oh my god. Correct, thank you. It's important that we are not accidentally getting shot by anybody anymore. Losing our leg now. Oh man, what a mission. So yeah, self-defense, when the lance drops right in front of you. I think this is actually where it started to go south. When the Atlas, as well as a Stalker and the Rifleman and what else there was. Like all of those tanks and vehicles and the flies, everything just completely escalated on us. Because they were dropping right in the middle, completely negating our battle plan. That was where things went south and it stayed there. So we are mythical now. Alright, cool. What do we get? We are not even getting the Cyclops. Stupid, stupid Cyclops. Damage taken is 1.3 million. Yeah, great. Uh, I'll take the AC-20 burst though, that's good. And an AC-2 burst, and another AC-2 burst, and then we have one more point left over. That is gonna go into... Hmm, we could also add medium lasers. I think I'll do that. You know what? Let's do it. We still have an AC-20 burst lying around. It's fine. So we'll take those mediums. And... Uh, an SRM-6, tier 4. And... Three more points, which could go into, I don't know, single heat sinks. No. Whew, difficult. Uh, it's not really difficult. We just add an AC2 and an LRM10. 
Just going by value. I mean, not that value matters because we have 18 million sea bills left over. But hey, let's take a look at our battle mech. Looks like the Night Star got a beating and we lost a ton of Gauss ammo. That's not great. Uh, we still have one left over. So it's not going to be a big deal. Uh, he, still, though, it's not good either. So, yeah, and then we lost the Gauss Rifle on the King Crab as well. But hey, guys, that's a story for another video when we're going to see each other again. Hopefully you enjoyed this one. If you did, don't forget to leave a rating. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And I hope to see you next time. Goodbye.